Mind merchants you've always been told your dreams are priceless. They lied. In 2039, Neurotech unveiled Dream Extraction technology that could record, visualize, and transfer dreams between human minds. What began as a medical breakthrough quickly became the ultimate luxury market. Celebrities sell their flying fantasies to the highest bidder. Billionaires trade erotic dreams like vintage wines. Creative geniuses auction their unconscious inspirations for millions. For the elite, dreaming has become an addiction to experiences they could never imagine themselves. For the rest, dreams are the last asset they have left to sell. Maya Winters was born with a rare neurological condition hyper-vivid dream syndrome. Her dreams are so intense, so immersive, so emotionally charged that they command prices that could feed a family for months. Each night, she surrenders her unconscious mind to the extraction devices. Waking with a sense of loss she can't quite name and credits in her depleted bank account. I'm selling pieces of my soul, she confesses to no one. But what choice do I have? The black market thrives beneath the legitimate dream trade. Underground clubs offer dream cocktails, composite experiences stitched together from multiple minds. Addiction clinics overflow with dream junkies who can no longer distinguish memory from purchased fantasy. Then there are the nightmare harvesters, those who seek out trauma survivors, paying premium rates for terrors that thrill-seeking customers could never produce themselves. The ultimate status symbol isn't just experiencing rare dreams, it's having never sold your own. The wealthy wear special bracelets indicating they are pure dreamers. Their unconscious minds untouched by commerce. When researchers discovered that repeated dream selling causes irreversible changes to the brains. Memory centers, the government finally intervenes. But it's too late for an entire generation who've already sold their most intimate mental experiences. Maya joins the dream sovereignty movement, fighting for regulations against exploitative dream harvesting. Their slogan spreads across the digital landscape, my mind is not for sale. But as she leads protests by day, at night she still connects to the extraction devices. Her rent is due, and dreams remain the most valuable thing she possesses. In a world where even your unconscious mind has become a commodity, the final frontier of human privacy is disappearing. When nothing remains sacred, when even your dreams have a price tag, what truly belongs to you anymore? What would you sell if the price was right? Here at Thought Experiments, we explore the ethical boundaries of tomorrow's technologies. If this glimpse into a possible future intrigued you, hit subscribe now. And join our community of forward thinkers. Turn on notifications to catch next week's episode, Memory Architects, when your past can be redesigned, who controls your future? Share your thoughts below, would you sell your dreams if you could? Or are some experiences too personal to commodify?